say it's me. Today we're checking out some dumb people on the internet. I ordered a pepperoni pizza and you sent me just dough. There's nothing on it. Did this idiot open the pizza box upside down? Be like, oh no, where's the toppings? Oh no, uh, are you sure that's not the, uh, the breadsticks? No, it's not. Look, your pizza. I'm not stupid. I mean, I can see. Who opens a pizza box are. upside this down? Is, like, this oh. is the pizza box, and there's no sauce, there's no cheese, and there's no pepperoni. It's just bread. And one hand on the bottom. Why are you making me do this? Just give me the refund. Give me the pizza right. that it ordered. Nah, Karen. Okay, so flip your hand. No over. refund today. Just this is like a this magic so trick. Now open the pizza. I told. Salt. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Magic. Um. <laughs> now tell him how stupid you I'm are. I'm sorry. Uh, I at least really she apologized. Hangry, and I think I just got ahead of myself. It was upsetting. Are you sure it was just hangry and not just dumb? She's like walking on a sidewalk with a hose. I never let him know your next move. <laughs> she acted like it was such an inconvenience to step over it. No, you know what? I'm gonna pick it up and go under it. It's simply the only way. You know, I ain't taking no chances. We ain't tripping on a hose today. Start to come up, start to come up, start to come up. And look what we have here. An American flag stuck to your hair. Is it and now, good? What in five minute crafts is this? You hydra dipped her hair? How's she gonna wash that out? Yes, it Can looks- Can I see a mirror? It looks- <gasps> Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, you like it? I love that. Nah, don't lie to her. Okay, well let's get you dried up and taken care of. I How think that's really good. Cost? You told me it costs money to ruin somebody's perfectly fine head of hair? Like, I have seen people hydra dip everything. But hair? Yeah, that's a lot of bleach. I really loaded it up. Oh no, don't tell me her hair's gonna fall out. <gasps> what? No! This is a crime! Straight to jail. She bleached the life out of her hair. Went to bleach blonde. Her hair follicles, scalp, screaming in pain. You paid hundreds of dollars to get this professionally done at a salon. All to dye it dark again? Say it ain't so, and this was another day. I don't know why. What year was the War of 1812? Oh, I don't know that. I wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> she was so sweet about it. She's like, oh, I don't know. I didn't pay attention to history class. Oh, I don't know that. I wasn't here. When was the War of 1812? What do you mean you don't know? I just literally said. Are you good at geography? Yeah, I'm a geography teacher, actually. A geography teacher, okay. Well, it's your lucky day. So you must be an expert, right? Well, can you name me five countries beginning with letter M? Moscow. Moscow? Mars. Oh. Mars? Malaysia. Malaysia, perfect. Madrid. Madrid, perfect. And one more? Mercury. Mercury, that's <laughs> so good. Are your students pretty smart? Yeah. <laughs> she is very confident in her abilities. Since when Mercury a country? I could just book a plane ticket and travel to Mars? So I'm trying to make a pancake. Mm hmm. But it's not cooking. Um, would you try turning it on? Oh, you're supposed to put it in there. My guy, are you serious? What did you think it was a skillet? It literally has a handle where you pull it up. You know, maybe check these things. See if the surface is warm to put the pancake on. Like, y'all really don't be using your brain for real. It's lettuce wrap. French fries, but they're lettuce wrap. Makes it healthier, right? Onion rings, but it's lettuce wrap. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, it's a Diet Coke, but lettuce wrapped. Makes it even healthier, right? Don't make fun of me. I gotta actually order things lettuce wrapped because I can't eat the bread. Customer states, rear seat will not lock in the upright position. Okay, there's something clearly blocking it. You don't say. There's something in the way. Let's Ow. try that on for oh, size. Oh, there you I go. I really can't. Make if it's not gonna lock upright, there is something in the way. No, I did not just do that. <laughs> oh! Bro sauced himself up. What were you even squeezing the sauce on? Did they use limes? Better hope somebody hungry doesn't walk through that door thinking you a snack. I said to Ade, I want a cheeseburger with just cheese and onion. He orders me this. 
I've never met someone more stupid in my life. Like, you just asked for cheese and onion. I'd be grateful they gave me bread. Sometimes you get exactly what you asked for. What's the capital of Europe? That's a trick question. London? Europe is a continent. I'm gonna let that slide. Do you, do you want my Instagram, my Facebook? What do you mean? Your social security number. It's like when you put a number in a keypad. It's like pound 1111. Gen Z be like, no, it's hashtag 1111. This was security camera footage at a wig store. And she tried to walk out with a wig and you see the tag just hanging off her shoulder. She just grabbed it on her way out. Like, no, uh-uh. Oh yeah, I completely forgot to pay for it even though it's on my head. Honest mistake. This is the dumbest conversation I've ever witnessed in my life. If you're not familiar, Lyme disease is a horrible disease. Basically destroys your immune system. You will never be able to live life the same. And here she is saying it's an intergalactic substance. I worked with a medical intuitive and she said every time she sees someone with Lyme, it's an intergalactic substance and it's literally bringing in codes from the beginning of time. Yes, I believe this. This gives me chills down yeah. my entire body. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah. I haven't heard it in those exact words before, but I'm often trying to say the exact same thing. Yeah. What that? Lyme disease is an intergalactic substance? Lyme is a gift. Yes, yes. It is not for the faint of heart. What? Lyme disease is a horrible disease. Imagine someone finding out they have cancer. And then we got this little podcast like, oh my God, be grateful for your cancer. It's, it's a gift. Are you stupid by any chance? This is the dumbest one. And it is for the most deeply spiritual people yes. on the planet. Yes. Oh, imagine having Lyme disease and watching this. I mean, I can't even imagine what they would think. Yeah, I'm gonna go charge my crystals. Finishing two packets just to find out that they were doggy treats. Well dang, those Scooby Snacks must slap for you to eat two packets. How do you not realize that you are eating a dog treat? I know they don't taste like human treats. I know they don't look like human treats. They're shaped like a dog bone. They got a dog on the cover. Well, last time I checked, there was no Hot Cheeto Scooby Snacks. When your husband burns your favorite kitchenware because he didn't check the oven first. Why would you put a cutting board in the oven? They're made of plastic. Plastic should never go in the oven. Yeah, I thought that was common sense, but common sense ain't too common these days. I am smart. Are you smart? I'm a hairstylist. <laughs> what's, your, uh, what's your GPA? My GPA is at 3.98. 3.98, that's almost perfect. 3.79. Okay, they, they got some pretty high GPAs. They gotta be smart, right? First president. First president is George Washington. Yeah, George Washington. Second. Wow. Okay, you know what? Maybe they are smart. Second, oh, I don't know. George Bush. <laughs> no, don't. Second president. What? Abraham Lincoln. That was the 16th, you really. Who's the second president? I had to Google this one. John Adams. He don't get enough credit. Nobody cares about the second one. It's all about the first and the third. Does John Adams even have money? Is he even on any currency? Bro got no clout. And they put him on a $1 coin. <laughs> Why does he look like that? Bro built like a baked bean. So are we roasting presidents now? Uh, yes, we are. Am I the only one who thought this was pronounced as ick, ick? <laughs> goofy, you're gonna have to say that again for me. Yuck, yuck. Like the goofy laugh. The <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I know these things. I just see it and think about it for a hot second and be like, if you know, you know. Excellent. Uh, I think I need a new blender. Oh, yeah, I forgot to find a shade. Oh, well, there's the issue. You blended a spoon in your smoothie. How do you forget that? Sir, was it supposed to be part of the smoothie? This ain't a McFlurry. You don't put the spoon and spin. Why? You sacrificed the entire carton of eggs to save one. Ah! This ruined my day. This kid was in class counting the amount of licks it takes to reach the center of a Tootsie Pop until he lost track of- Oh! Which hand it was on? Oh, he got it confused. No, honestly, honest mistake. I would do the same exact thing. Like, you are writing and licking, writing and licking, writing and licking. Also, there is a more efficient way to do this. I'm gonna lick it like five times and then write a five. You don't have to go one, 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 one. That is super inefficient. There's a shape with four sides called. I don't know. I haven't had. I haven't done something with shapes since like fifth grade. <laughs> what? A shape with four sides. A 
shape with four sides. You have this really cool thing inside your head called a brain. And like you could do so many cool things with it, but you just choose not to. A shape with four sides. Comment below if you're smarter than this guy. Yeah, if you had a guess. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't. All right. Don't say I know but like what shapes have four sides, but I don't know the name for it. Yes. Then say it! A square! A rectangle! A quadrilateral! Y'all know these things. Can you name three countries besides the USA? Three Alabama. countries. That's one. New Mexico. Two. Countries! Uh, Connecticut. Three. Countries! What country are you from? Connecticut! I'm Alabama man. What is one quarter plus two dimes? One quarter plus two. How much money is that? That's 65 cents. Is it 65 cents? Yes. Wow, somebody used their big brain. What is happening to the knowledge in this world? Where are everybody's brain cells running off to? I'm gonna shortage of brain cells these days. Go on the swing, they said. It'll be fun. <laughs> um, these are one of those restaurants that instead of chairs, they have swings. And you know what happens when you swing a little too hard? Whether you're on a playground or a dining table. Do they trust people to just like control themselves? You're sitting on a swing, but you can't swing. Hello friends, it's me. Today we're checking out some dumb people on the internet. You need a tortilla, tortilla, tortilla. You need Bro, a tortilla. Oh, what are you doing? Tortilla. How half the egg end up on the stove top? Why you put it on the plate? It's not done cooking. That's a lot of egg being wasted. This is painful to watch. Like let the dang egg continue to cook. That chicken birthed how many eggs for you to just waste them like that? Okay, I'ma stop you right there. Your blender broke. You're trying to mix up a milkshake with a drill. There's no cover. As soon as you start spinning that, we all know what's gonna happen. And it most likely doesn't end with you comfortably kicking back on the sofa, sipping your little milkshake. I mean, I hate to say I told you so, but what did you think was gonna happen? Now you got no milkshake and you gotta spend hours cleaning that. The person recording didn't even try to stop them. You know, some people gotta learn a lesson the hard way. Fat. Spell fat. F A T. Spell her. H E R. Okay, what Easy, is Easy, right? Fat her. <laughs> fat her. I'm gonna give you a second to look at this word. What does it spell? What? Are you sure? Yeah, fat her. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm saying it right. Okay, are you sure? I don't get it. Yes, I fat her. I get it. Are you guys making fun of me? <coughs> What's what? Together. Together. Fat, fat her. and her. Spell it. F A T H E R. What does that spell? Fat her. Fat her. Clearly. And they go on and on and on and on for a couple of minutes. And he starts getting angry. Like, I know these kids aren't making fun of me. <laughs> F A T H E R. Fat her. <laughs> You guys are making me mad, for real. I ain't getting tilted. About to disown his kids before he finds out what it actually spells. What? F-A-T-H-E-R. English. What are you Fat her. What are you to Isabel? Daughter. What? She's my daughter. Yeah. What are you to Isabel? Her? her father. How do you spell father? F-A-T-H-E-R. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> And then he finally realized it's spelled right. father, father, not fat oh her. My God. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> At least he realizes his mistake. What are you doing? Why you be flipping your phone like that over the soup? What is the reason? Like you asking for that. And now they gotta throw out the entire thing of soup because your contaminated phone just flipped into it. This is just straight up dumb on his part. If I don't want to step on the scale at the doctor's, I say, oh, I don't want to be weighed today. If I don't want to talk about my fatness at the doctor, I say, oh, I'm not here to talk about my weight. I'm here to talk about fill in the blank, whatever the issue actually is. So the doctor's going to be like, yes, I'm going to need you to step on the scale. We will not be talking about my fatness today. What? They refuse to test me for certain things because of my fatness. I say, I would like it noted in my chart that you are refusing to test me for X, Y, and Z. Something I've never said, but I've thought about is, oh, 
It sounds like you are not up to date on the latest research about fat bodies. I highly recommend the maintenance phase podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry, did she just recommend her doctor a podcast? You know, all those years and years that you spent in medical school I mean absolutely jack squat. So I recommend you listen to this podcast to like really educate yourself. <laughs> Do you hear yourself? It's like if you have a problem with the doctors asking you something, why even go to the doctor in the first place? You know, some people just be looking for a fight. It's like going to the dentist and refusing to open your mouth when they want to look at your teeth. Like, no, I don't do that. And you can put it in my chart that you refuse to fix my teeth because I didn't want to say, ah. Do you know how ridiculous you sound? So she's taking a driving test, right? To get her license. And she's doing all of these things, wondering why the car won't start. Like, yeah, put the parking brake down. Put her blinker on. And what's going on? Why the car ain't starting? Why it ain't going? Why I no zoom? I'm in Mazda, but why I no zoom zoom? Hello? He ain't gonna tell her. He just go watch her. Try to figure out why the car isn't moving. She getting nervous. I ain't getting my license today, huh? It's the handbrake on. It ain't the parking brake, bro. Okay, uh, is the, the car still on? The car isn't even on. You step one. You should probably turn the car on before you start hitting all the switches. Some people get nervous when people are watching. Performance anxiety is real. What happens when you let the air out of the Nike Air Max? You think you can run faster without the air? This feels illegal. I don't know what they thought they did. This dude fills an entire bag of mayo. I think that's good because when we do the draw stuff, Yeah, and my only question is why? Oh, the way he's lathering it up Make like sure that. Oh, I don't like that one bit. This is foul, absolutely foul. Oh, please don't do what I think you're gonna go. do. Oh, that was exactly why I didn't want him to do. You know, the splat wasn't as dramatic as I thought it was gonna be. You know, maybe you should go down faster next time. Oh, uh, sorry, I put the pizza upside down. Are, what the f <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> how do you manage to put a pizza upside down? It's kind of crazy how the topping's just like stalagmited. Or is it a stalactite? Ah, uh, it is a stalactite. Stalagmites are from the floor. Stalactites are from the ceiling. And that's already a lot of ketchup. How much more ketchup could you possibly want? What are you doing? It's all over the ceiling now. Clearly it wasn't enough ketchup on his plate. You gotta have it all over the ceiling too. Oh. Life is just simply better saucier. When you let your partner unpack the groceries. What is that? That don't belong in there. That's sticky notes. That ain't food. You know what? You could have fooled me. I thought it was a block of mozzarella cheese for a second. He probably thought the same. Give him a break. Honest mistake. <laughs> this was an oversight. Uh, I figured that this would like make the perfect sandwich, but now I'm realizing that <laughs> I combined it together and it's jelly, jelly, and peanut butter, and peanut butter. <laughs> Bro, you literally had one job. And also, it's going in the same sandwich and there are two ingredients, so you just might as well do one bread peanut butter and one bread jelly. What's the point of doing a crisscross? You're gonna get a half peanut butter jelly and half peanut butter jelly, but if you did it normally, you would get the same thing. You know, sometimes you should really take like two seconds. That's all you need to think. Make a thought. She drove this car here. <laughs> she drove it. How she drives with she three She drove tires? it. The fourth one missing. I'm surprised the car made it from point A to point B. Wait, did you have your music blasting in the background or something? Like you don't hear that you got a blowout? Oh, not my problem. Even though we driving and tilted at a 45 degree angle. It's all right, I just gotta make it home. Very surprised she actually made it home. But I'm glad, you know, good for her. What's the point of having matches if you need a lighter to light them? What? I can't tell if he's joking or not. The whole point of a match is to light it on the matchbox. There's like a little strip that you can just skirt and then behold, fire. Who knew in 2023 we still got cavemen? Woo, fire. My dog is vegetarian by choice. And no dog is vegetarian by choice. We have this really gross, um, it's like a beef dog food. And then I have this delicious green salad. <laughs> 
me. You're gonna bring in a dog and they're going to eat a salad, literal leaves, over the meaty, wet food. If I see a dog eat leaves over the meat, I'm gonna beat myself with a controller. So this is Bonnie. She Hello, is Bonnie. Like okay, Bonnie wanna eat. Bonnie's hungry. Vegetarian. She's a vegetarian. <laughs> believe there are vegans out there feeding their animals a vegan diet like dogs eat meat This is literally abuse to feed them salad mix feed a human plain salad mix might also be considered abuse actually like what did you think was gonna happen oh no my dog is vegan just like me think again vegan teacher push in the air right now planning out her reply video what are you crying about <laughs> I try to make a half cookie and it's a W you can't be serious. <laughs> Bro, rotate the pan. Flip it Put over. It <laughs> I Give wanted an these. M, but it came out a W. Oh, no. <laughs> the day is ruined. <laughs> Can Fixed. there are people dying? Oh, who knew? Upside down W? No. Never asking this guy to buy me juice again. This guy bought this from the shops with his food. <laughs> Thinking this was juice. Hey, yeah. that ain't Two liters of cordial. This around here. <laughs> bottle of orange cleaning solution. Okay, but why does it actually look like orange juice? That's a little too convincing. Like, you telling me that's not orange juice? Two liters of cordial. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's liquor. Orange liquor. Oh, man, I thought it was a cleaning solution or something. I don't know. It could have been either one, but usually they keep the orange juice in the fridge. I thought it was a carrot cake. Carrot soap. <laughs> and some of these companies with their packaging. I don't blame you. This looks like food. They even got the fresh cut carrots on the front of it. The brown paper packaging. I would have thought it was an organic carrot cake too. I have never heard of no carrot soap. You know, how far did their teeth have to sink in before they realize? Oh, yeah, this is soap. Oh, about soap. How do we all know what soap tastes like? Have you ever eaten soap? Even if you haven't, you know what it tastes like. I sure have. When I accidentally charged a customer $185 instead of $185. But I'm just a 16 year old girl. Is that supposed to be an excuse? I know sometimes you gotta like manually push in the buttons, but like they spend $185. I feel like you would catch your mistake before the customer goes to pay for it, but I don't know. Me and my friend at Walmart. <laughs> Also, did that not hurt the first time? Look, what even is that? I mean, this most certainly is Walmart behavior right here. It's like a unicorn exploded. Now quickly flee the aisle before anyone sees. Does it take 18 months for twins to be born or nine? No! I don't want to see what happens when they start driving. Looks can be this evening. Boy, I tell ya. I never knew there was green apples. I thought it was only in the movies. Hello friends, it's me. Today we're going to be checking out some of the dumbest people on the internet. Unless your car is on fire. They to use a fire extinguisher. But Barbara over here thought it was an emergency and didn't want to pay 50 cents for air at her local gas station. She took a fire extinguisher. She was like, this, this got air in it, right? To try to fill her to, oh no. That's like me taking canola oil, put it in my gas tank. Oil makes cars go woo. Logic. Life hack, if you say gullible slowly, it sounds like oranges. Are we gonna try this? Gullible. It does? Did you try it? Yeah. What did it sound like? Gullible? No sh I took leaving the house for granted. When this quarantine is over, ask me to go anywhere and I'm saying yes. Dang guys, I really hate being in quarantine. <laughs> this sucks. Wow, they making us self-quarantine. <laughs> Some of y'all failed your spelling test and it shows. Y'all remember Well Vicky, right? I'm black. My grandfather is black. That makes me black. I seen our ancestry.com. 
y'all did it. So please get out my DMs, get out my messages, because y'all don't know. I ain't gonna keep telling y'all I'm black. First of all, she was talking about how she's obviously black. But that was a long time ago. She's apparently a scientist now. I know I be playing around with this corona stuff a lot. I started realizing how serious it is, and it's pretty serious. So look, y'all, I was on Facebook the other day, and I was watching this video, and I found this cure, you know, me, I believe in like a lot of natural stuff. So I find this cure, I believe it works. So what you do is you get water and you boil it to the highest water. And then get an orange and you put the peelings of the orange in there. Step one, boil your water to the highest water. <laughs> and the Nobel Prize goes to... This is like if you think you have corona, this will kill the virus because the water and like stuff is gonna go up. Basically the virus lives in cold places. So you know up here is where like your boogers and stuff at. So it's cold up there. So what this gonna do, it's gonna take it up there. Up there, up there, it's gonna take it up there. Scientists couldn't do it, but y'all saw it here. Well Vicky found the cure. Boil a dang orange peel. Cause you know, vitamin C and heat up there. Where your boogers sat. Me trying to present my school project like. So you know up here is where like your boogers and stuff at. Okay, but this is low key hilarious. <laughs> I accidentally ate a hal and a pino in my mouth. My mouth is on fire. Heck off. What? A hal and pino. What? Who's hal and who's pino? A hal and pino must be some spicy boys. The lottery jackpot is $640 million. Population of the United States, 300 million. Let's just give everyone 2.13 million and call it a day because that's exactly how it works. 640 divided by 300 million is like two something. Two dollars. Why don't they just give everyone two million? I bet this person thought they like solved poverty by coming up with this grand idea. If I can't have an intellectual conversation with a girl, she's clearly not the one. I'm not the one. Man, I'm so stupid, I don't even know what an intellectual conversation is. Intellectual? Do we like enter a lecture and then talk about it? There really do be people freely roaming the earth that are this dumb. Do everybody a favor and quarantine the rest of your life. Ashley posted a before and an after. Wow, check out that glow up. Thank God for puppetry. <laughs> before I was a puppet, after I was a puppet. Haha. <laughs> you mean puberty? <gasps> no! I don't want to see what happens when they start driving. They tied the ATV down and then looped it into the tire so that it's gonna just snap it as soon as they start driving. Oh, you sir are a fool. Finally found my social security card. Post it on Twitter. How can y'all steal my identity? Y'all don't look like me. <laughs> Won't work. That's definitely how it works. I don't even gotta know what you look like. So this family got a brand new Mercedes. And even though there were signs all over the beach that say no cars, we gonna take it on the beach anyway. Cause heck signs, they don't know what they talking about. And ended up to be quicksand. <laughs> Me trying to pull my life together. <laughs> that really sucks. Or it's gonna be like <laughs> delicious. Here we have a wet floor sign. And somebody had to slap a paper on it. Like caution, wet carpet. Caution, the carpet is wet. You might get some stinky feet. A person who loves you will never kick you when you're down. Or pour salad on your wounds. What? Who gonna pour salad on my wounds? Is it supposed to heal it? Is it supposed to make it worse? <laughs> Never heard of that saying. Maybe I should try it sometime. Ow, that ranch! It burns! Work perks! They give me a cute little cake. Takes a bite. Turns out it's a bar of soap. Oh, looks can be deceiving. You would think somebody would sniff something before taking a bite? I don't know. <laughs> Why does chocolate smell like lavender? <laughs> eh, that's not chocolate. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta learn things the hard way. My dude really planking on a tiger, all for a drop of clout. And you ain't slick, he on to you. As soon as he wake up, that one, he gonna tell him everything. He gonna tell him what happened. And next time you in the cage. Does it take 18 months for twins to be born or nine? Yeah. 
Mm. If you got one chicken pot pie, put it in the oven 350 for 20 minutes, and you put another one next to it, do you double the time? Huh? We talk about baby, not chicken pot pie. Same thing. What do you mean 18 months? So you're gonna pop out a baby that's like two and a half years old, and then one that's like newborn, and they all be like different sized beans. No. Don't matter how many babies cooking in there, they're all gonna come out at the same time. Don't go Jason Waterfalls. <laughs> Love that song. Jason Waterfalls. <laughs> Even I know it's Jason Waterfalls, right? But Jason Waterfalls. Our next president. I can't stop laughing about the fact that somebody accepted this as a fiver and work. Yeah, that'll be $5.34. A dude gives this. Ugh. Sure. Y'all don't pay me enough to look at the money and inspect it. <laughs> Someone posted on Facebook, looks can be this evening. Boy, I tell ya. What? You know, stupidity is basically my second language. They meant looks can be deceiving, but they were like this evening. <laughs> Imagine how upset your English teacher would be if they saw this. Prize and grammar. You know, perfectly cooked rice is one of the hardest things to cook. So they got a rice cooker and these fools took the rice cooker, put it on the stove top. You know, not like the rice cooker has the necessary equipment to cook rice on its own. The whole point of a rice cooker is that you don't need a stove top. Yet they heated it up on the stove top, burned the bottom of it. And you did this, why? Amphibious pitcher makes debut. Oh, they put in sea creatures in the NBA now. Wait, you, you sure that's the right word? Yeah, like 80% sure it's amphibious, right? Uh, yeah, yes, you know, sounds right. Print it. Do they mean ambidextrous? How you not know what amphibious is? For only 78 cents a pound, you can get these long yellow things. You know, sometimes you just forget what things are called. Prices you can trust, names you can't. I never knew there was green apples. <gasps> I thought it was only in the movies. Bro, what you make apple pie out of? That's a Granny Smith. It really made me wonder, where did you grow up? Smash like if you knew that there were green apples in this world. Is there anybody that doesn't know that? Someone in the world was making a mug and just, how you mess this up? How you do this wrong? How you put the handle inside the cup? You know, this is probably punishable by a slap on the forehead in some countries. This dude getting fired. Yeah, well, I thought it was gonna fit in my trunk. Literally a package the size of the car. I like the fact that she tried. She opened the trunk. She made the effort to push it in. Probably yelled at the cashier who helped her bring it up to her car. Why it doesn't go in? Well, at least an attempt was made. This fool really locked both keys in the locker. Yeah, I'm gonna keep these here for a sec so I don't lose them. No one can unlock it now. Congratulations, you just played yourself. Why do you have a framed picture of your ceiling fan? Why? Oh, I realized that is a mirror. You know, I, I just love my ceiling fan. It's a beautiful fan. I love my fan so much that I decided to frame him over my mantle place. Girl posted a picture, cruising in the Benz. Do you even know what a Benz is? It says BMW. Oh, but that definitely stands for Benz my wheel, right? Honest mistake. Some people are just dumb. This dude's face when he realized that he literally painted himself into a corner. Congratulations! Now you have to wait until the paint dries before you can make your next move. As you're watching the paint dry, take this time to reflect on your actions. You know, everybody struggles with these packages where you literally have to use scissors to cut them open. And then this fool just straight through the middle. I couldn't get it open. Somehow managed to cut the USB cord in half. Spoiler alert, it's useless now.